Hi, my name's David Ralph. I'm one of the directors at IMG Models, primarily in charge of um, development on the men's side. I started on the other side of the camera. I was a model for 10 years. I was in university studying mathematics and got scouted in a nightclub in London. Did really quite well in London, did all the shows like, you know, Catherine Hamner, Vivian Westwood was a favorite of mine. And then I did Paris, Milan, that whole thing. It was about year four or five. I decided that I wanted to get a taste of um, traveling further abroad. I've always been very, very interested in politics. When I heard that Nelson Mandela was about to be um, released from prison in South Africa, I decided that I would head over there because there was an agency there that wanted me there. I was a little bit worried. I mean, I come from a white mother, German, and my father's Gambian, African. And so I asked them what they thought, and they said, well, you know, if you don't like it, just come back. So I went over there, and I went over there originally for two months. In total, I ended up being there for about seven years. Whilst I was in South Africa, I worked literally every single day. I was maybe the number one male model in South Africa for the longest time. And during that time, I switched over to TV. I was a TV host for about a year. With that came losing my privacy. Unfortunately, I had a few rumbles with the press, with them chasing me. Once it got quite rough where they chased me down the road in my car and I spun my car and I went to the agency the next day and I said, I'm not doing this anymore. My agent at the time happened to be pregnant. And so she asked me if I'd be interested in working part-time at the agency while she was away on maternity leave. So I work on development and development means uh, working very, very closely with the scouts, if not sometimes even scouting myself, traveling all over the world, meeting with other agents, and, and then you know, subsequently looking out for models that are on the up and up, and then helping them build their careers and build their brands, starting off with testing, pushing them in front of designers, casting directors, et cetera, et cetera. And basically, you know, giving them the foundation for what their career should look like later on in life. Models like Will Chalker, Noah Mills, Matthias Lauritsen, they all started with me. They are still with me right now, actually, um, at IMG. I take a lot of pride in seeing the careers of these guys grow, but more importantly, how these people grow as people. And I, I feel very, very privileged to have been part of that in the early stages of their life. I think the best career advice I would give anybody in this industry is do it if you love it. You can feed off the success of the people that you help mold. There was a time when I used to make sure that I always called the new boys into the office and gave them good news in person. I'd never give it over the phone. There was a model that I had called Tiago Santos who happened to be the first black model to ever um, be in a Dior campaign and uh, walk down the runway for them. And I asked him to come into the office and I filmed him when I gave him the news that he was going to Paris. First of all, I told him that I had bad news that he couldn't stay in New York. And then I told him he was going to Paris instead. And that gives me great joy. I love seeing the happiness in these boys. A lot of people start out as assistants. You can learn a lot as an assistant. I love having assistants because again, it's just like having a model and you mold them. They get to learn from you. Humility is a number one thing for me because you're not the talent and you should also make sure that they are humble too. Drive and perseverance um, and, and learn your art. Uh, if, you like, if you like fashion, look at magazines. Don't, don't take it for granted that you know everything. Just try and learn.